The much-anticipated 2009 Heisman Trophy Award, given to the most outstanding college football player, will be announced tomorrow here in New York. The five players in the running for this year's trophy are Toby Gerhardt of Stanford University, Tim Tebow from the University of Florida, Mark Ingram from the University of Alabama, Colt McCoy from the University of Texas, and Ndamukong Sue from the University of Nebraska. Do you realize you're the front runner, though? There's some website that's never been wrong. They have you number one. You were on Sports Illustrated. You're on the oh. Sporting News. You're Sports on all this stuff. I mean, does that hit you at all? Do you realize I'm the guy people think is going to win? Um, it's. I think it's a coin toss. You know, some people think I'm going to win. Some people think it's just it's up in the air. It's going to be a real close race, and all five are deserving. And I'm gonna be supportive of whoever wins, and I'm just excited to be here with them and develop relations with them that'll carry me further in the day and later on in life. And I'm just enjoying the moment, and whatever happens, happens. I'm just really excited and honored to be here. All five candidates will tell you that their teammates have a significant amount of deserve some credit for the success that they've had uh, because you can't do it all by yourself, especially coming from a running back or a quarterback. Well, then Dominican Sue, he, he's been a monster by himself. But here, all of all the other candidates, I'm sure they have to give credit to the other players, especially like my offensive line, the receivers, the quarterbacks, the defense. They give us great looks. Coaches who give us great grand game plans every week. You know, I think there's lots of other aspects where people deserve credit. But do you have a speech ready in case you win, or you gotta just wing it? Uh, I've always been told by uh, two great people that you don't want to have a planned speech and you want to speak from your heart. And my parents are the same way. They, they, they teach me to say how you feel and, and you'll do fine, which I've done at all the other ones that I've had to speak at with the McGursky, the Lombardi. And obviously we didn't have to speak too much, but it was impromptu at the ESPN Awards. Any good advice from Tim Tebow on the uh, weekend? I haven't talked to him. Uh, other, th other than that, he did give me some advice coming off the airplane that there going to be a lot of guys trying to get autographs and everything. And, um, and just keep moving, follow the officers that are there with us to help us and get through the kind of the mess and yeah. um, just enjoy it. I mean, soak it all up, which I already knew what I was going to do. I've right. never been to New York, and I'm right. already kind of not starstruck, but my eyes are, are giddy for to see what's out here in New York. Cool. As everybody said, and in the way I see it, it's more of an offensive award. Um, the guys who put up the big numbers, uh, passing and running and all the, and that so forth. Um, so it would be an honor to be able to be that representative, um, other than I believe Charles Woodson in 97 that won it. But as, as what I'm hearing is he played both sides of the ball. Even though I played both sides of the ball, I've only taken this season maybe four or five snaps to have fullback. Uh, so I'm predominantly a defensive guy, and that's where I see myself.